Is my hair triangular enough? Yes, good. Good morning. Are you ready for absolute unbridled chaos? Well, good. <laughs> Let me put it straight, friends. I am royally pooped. And I just felt like I needed a little bit of a break. Here we are. So a type of video I've always liked is when people take other people's tutorials, try them for themselves and kind of document the journey. I thought it might be fun. And because it's autumn, the festive crunchy season, I felt like we should do some baking. I've only baked about probably three things in my entire life, not including just cookies that you just, you know, pop off the sheet. So the audacity of my brain to think that I'm going to be able to accomplish this. These sleeves are really good for shrugging. I've been wanting to get more into baking. I feel in my soul that it's probably not the right activity for me because of my human tornado-like qualities. I, I like having a finished product at the end that you can then eat. It's like a reward. And some of you have been asking for baking videos, which I think is interesting because I always get some of the angriest comments on my baking stuff. <laughs> Saddle up, y'all. Get those fingies ready for virtually shouting at me. I get it. I deserve it. <laughs> Some of you seem to like baking stuff, so we're just, we're gonna do it. And so, as I was saying, I am going to follow a tutorial for this because I don't generally know what I'm doing and because I find it a little easier than looking at a recipe page because honestly, that's a big reason why I don't bake is because I open a recipe page and my immediate gut reaction is no. Recipe websites are pretty much a no from me, dog. The specific tutorial and the specific creator that I'm going to be using as my spiritual guide through this process. You have probably heard of her. She is an actual goddess walking amongst us, Christine McConnell. She has a show on Netflix, an amazing Instagram, YouTube, Patreon page. I highly, highly recommend going and throwing your money at her over on Patreon. A bunch of exclusive stuff, it's so good. With that long intro aside, we are going to be making these tarantula cookies. As a side note, this is from her Patreon, so I'm not going to be linking anything like that. I don't wanna give away her paid content for free, so if you wanna see how she does it, head over to her Patreon. I went to the grocery store yesterday and I got, I think, everything that I need. I hate going to the grocery store. The sense of immediate bewilderment is palpable. I always feel like they're gonna announce on the intercom for someone to come collect their lost child, cause... <laughs> so after setting the precedent for grocery store fashion, I ventured forth and tried to find it, everything on the list. And I think this might be a two day process because she has parts where she lets things sit overnight. We're just gonna get on with it. But before we do that, this video is sponsored by my absolute favorite sponsor ever, ThreadUp. So to talk a little bit about that and to show you what I got this time, here's sponsor Rachel. Hello. That's not autumn-like. <laughs> Banished! Did you hear what I said? So my friends, as I said, this video is sponsored by ThreadUp. Sort of a ThreadUp connoisseur, if you will. It is pretty much my first stop when I need a specific item of clothing. ThreadUp is an online thrifting marketplace. Every single thing you see on the website is secondhand. And so because of this, they're able to get you your favorite brands for up to 90% off of retail. So this time around, I'm doing something a little bit different. If you go to the link in my description, it brings you to my holiday page. I went in and I picked out a bunch of clothing items for fall and for autumn and cozy time. I'm really excited about some of the items I found, so I hope that it's helpful for you. Speaking of holiday and Halloween, this time around, I challenged myself to thrift an entire Halloween costume. Thought of this pun at least eight months ago. First up, this tee. The estimated retail price of this was $25, but ThreadUp had it for $9.99. These trousers, sort of bell-bottomy at the bottom, like sort of like jeggings, which is not usually my thing, but these are so freaking comfortable. Estimated retail price of this was $204, but ThreadUp had them for $34.99. I also grabbed Cozy Knit Beret for $12.99. Now I could most definitely style this normally.
But my friends, with a few adjustments, it becomes one of the best puns I think I've ever made in my entire life and the height of my comedic career. That is it. If you do want to check out ThreadUp and if you want to check out my little holiday shop and thrift my cozy autumn picks, you can head to the link in my description and if you want to save 30% off of your first order, you can use the code RACHEL30. Thank you so much ThreadUp for sponsoring this video and before dues are in any way furthered, let the chaos begin. Teach me, queen. Start this project by whipping up a batch of shortbread cookie dough. Let's make shortbread stuff. Hey, yeah. And now I need to sift that in. Don't have a sifter, but I have this. Maybe it's the same thing. Guess we gonna find out. Three cups. Oh no. Don't know where I put literally anything. Starting off very strong, I can't find my cup version of this. This is one third cup. So one third cup and I need to do four cups. 12 of these little things that I have to do. Oh, this is gonna take forever. One, 11 more. 10, 13, wait, 11. Did I really just forget how to count? 12, I think. What is that? I think that was a little bit of paper mache. One cup confectioner sugar. <laughs> oh, oh God. Really, truly do not like this stuff. It is so messy. Make it snow, bitch. I feel like I need a second camera on this because it's so pretty. It's like a little wintry anthill. One teaspoon of salt. Oh, whisk. It's not often I say this, but I think maybe gigantic gelatinous sleeves weren't the best choice for this activity. Consider yourself whisked. Butter. And for that, I'm going to have to ask you to move. Excuse me. One and one fourth cup. I can read. One stick is half cup? Damn, that's a lot of butter. Yeah, pardon me again. Cut those up into little cubes. Situations like this, I would really benefit from a cameraman or woman. But for now, you get a behind shot. You're welcome. Food Network, call me up. I'm really good at this. Oh boy. Let's make this into a ball. Noted for next time, do not dress as the pale man from Pan's Labyrinth. Oh. This is very buttery. <laughs> she initially said to do one tablespoon of milk. I ended up eating a lot more than that to have the consistency of wet sand. Hopefully it's fine. It is a bit dry still. Need in some of this butter. Really slap it. Genuinely curious, is baking like a relaxing thing for people? <laughs> I just want to know. <sighs> Assuming I don't want to break down all of this butter, right? If any of the millions of baking shows that I watch have taught me anything, like it's good to have pockets of butter, maybe? I don't know. Wow. I don't know why that's happening. Croissant dough. We're gonna ice ice baby this shit. All right, next step, we have to make some aqua, aquafaba, which is reduced chickpea brine. It's for the royal icing. She said to use multiple cans of chickpeas, but I just got one big one. Basically, you just drain out this, put it on simmer and reduce it by a third, which friends, I had to Google what that means. Let's try, shall we? Oh my God. That's a lot of chickpeas. Mmm these in a bowl for later so I can make some hummus or something. Simmer until it's reduced by a third. I don't know how you can tell. This is exciting content. <laughs> okay, I think that's reduced. We'll see. <laughs> I 
think that's cold enough. So now we can get started. Now that the dough is all chilled, we can start carving all the little phalanges. I sketched up a little template, sort of, for what I want these cookies to look like, as instructed by the wonderful Christine. Let's start a foreman. Teach me, queen. Now you want to start rolling out kind of earthworm sized little strips of this dough. Each leg is gonna have four joints that are gonna connect the femur, patella, tibia, metatarsus, and the last little nugget, which is the tarsus. I'm learning. Earthworm shaped noodle. Still so sticky. What? I thought this would be the easy part. She got her so thin. How? I'd say that looks like an earthworm. On a scale of one to that earthworm from James and the Giant Peach. We'll start, ew! Oh, what? He was like, yo, I heard you like spiders. Really going outside. Make the back legs first. There's a chance this spider is gonna be very thick. This is not gonna be good. See, the thing I forget about is that dough is super elastic and just like snaps back. She makes it look like clay or something when she does it, but woof. It sure is. <laughs> Yuck, gross. <laughs> One leg is definitely a little thicker than the other. That's okay. Honestly, same. <laughs> oh my God. Thick, thick thighs. I don't know what I'm doing. Not great. These legs are sisters, not twins. Cousins. Mm. I'm having fun and I'm not stressed at all. Chunky boy. Okay, these ones are really bendy. Okay. That's not even close. Oh, what? Gross. My goal was to make five of these cookies, so I just have to do this a lot more times. Wish me luck. Put the legs in the oven and I decided I'm only gonna do three of these cookies simply because I didn't feel like making any more of those legs. So three it is. Now that those are in the oven for only six minutes, I'm gonna make the little bodies. <laughs> have quite a bit of freedom as far as like the proportions. If you want like a, a backside that's a little larger, you can make it that way. Say no more, Christine. We are giving these spiders some badonks. Go make a big old butt. We want this butt to be big enough to draw the attention of Becky. Is that what a spider looks like? Good enough. <laughs> Divots where the legs are gonna go, so. I think that ought to do it. A little bit more like a little dune bug, but that's okay. I'll do a couple more of these and our legs are done. They don't look quite browned yet, so I'm gonna leave those in just a tiny bit longer. Much better. Now these bad boys can go in for 12 minutes, but probably more. All right, back to the royal icing. We have now chilled this and it looks kind of nasty. What? You said to whisk it. Okay, so now it's nice and frothy. Now take six tablespoons of that, put it in the mixer. Okay, that looks pretty frothy to me. Half a teaspoon of salt, cream of tartar, which I had never heard of before yesterday. She said soft peaks. Yeah, I think that's right. Nice. <laughs> so I'm gonna put this in a container. And so after putting what looks like the remnants of the Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man into a container, it was time to also chill that. Hmm. <laughs> so clearly mine are a bit more bulbous than hers, and I think that's because I didn't knead in the butter enough, and it was very much a biscuity texture. Are you ready 
to assemble. <laughs> My spider bod does not look quite like hers. It looks more like a lumpy scarab. He's just gonna be a lumpy little guy. We have our royal icing, AKA edible glue. I'm gonna cement these legs on. I guess I'll start with the back legs. Just gonna really glob on that glue. Doesn't look right. She also said if it's too globby that you can go over it with a little bit of water and a paintbrush. They're gonna need it. Oh, and this one already fell off. Oh no. Ah! <sighs> Starting off strong. Gentle. What is that? <laughs> it's not a spider. I'll tell you what. I said maybe to let this set before doing another one. I don't know if I'm patient enough for that. I'm just gonna, just a, just a little bit. Okay. Maybe I can fill in some of his little lumps, his lovely spider lumps with frosting. I cannot tell if this leg actually is on. I don't think it is. <laughs> I might just be making one cookie. Yeah. Whew. She made 20 of these, first of all. Can we just take a minute to appreciate a queen? His leg does not want to stay. He's trying to do the stinky leg and I say, no! How about you just stay there, you bitch? You want to make two kind of pillars out of aluminum foil. And once you've done that, you just take some nice bendable wire. I just use aluminum wire. And essentially what you're just creating is a horizontal bar for your legs to rest on. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> As newfound glory would say. It's all downhill from here. Okay. I'm doing this a tiny bit out of order. She basically said to do this like the day after it's cured overnight, but I'm just gonna do this now. <laughs> he needs to wimbo a little lower. Okay. It's like a game of operation. <laughs> So gentle. Is that even what a spider looks like? I mean, it's not the most anatomically correct spider cookie I've ever made. I mean, I guess technically it is because uh, this is the only one I've ever made. Huh? All right, I'm gonna let this sit for quite a while. And then basically she says to cover the whole thing in icing and take the paintbrush and lather it out just so it's some extra strength for it, which this is going to need. <laughs> Here we go. Progress. Run a pipe of that royal icing down each of these legs. Wet brush again and kind of just pat that into each one of these legs. End of day one. Four o'clock. I started this at 11 and we have one cookie. <laughs> This needs to set overnight. Make sure he's nice and strong. And then tomorrow we can do, I don't know why, why am I doing this? Tomorrow we can do airbrushing and painting and all that good stuff. <laughs> I'm gonna go rest and not think about cookies until tomorrow. See you then. Are you ready for day two? And to pray humbly to the baking gods that this does not break. And just go over it lightly everywhere. It doesn't have to be perfect. You're not really gonna see this layer as much as you think you will. <laughs> I'm so scared. Take my handy dandy baking airbrush, which hopefully gives me a little bit more luck than my normal one. A little bit of brown. It doesn't take me 20 minutes to get this stinking thing off. Hooey. Pray for me. This looks like a horrible biology class experiment. It's not dry yet, but I'm just gonna flip. Please, please don't break, my friend. We've been through so much. Oh, who's a nasty boy? You are. That's probably enough.
Okay, so he's looking pretty cute and hairy. I am going to skip some of the stuff that she does at this part. Requires some supplies that I don't have and didn't want to go get. I'm just gonna do the last finishing touch, adding some black to him. Oh my God, there's chocolate everywhere. What have I done? And so my friends, our journey has come to an end. Wouldst thou like to see the baby? Here he is. <laughs> He's so gross. If an alien shapeshifter came to Earth and decided to look like a spider without actually seeing a spider, that, my friends, is the backstory of my cookie. But hey, look, it stands on its own. Hold its weight pretty well. Skeptical that my version was gonna be able to do that. It's time to destroy it, which is sad. <laughs> okay, well, this is gonna be so gross. So uh, prepare yourselves. This feels wrong. I don't wanna destroy my creation. That's pretty good. Aside from getting the formula wrong and not adding any salt <laughs> like I was supposed to, it's pretty good. It helps that the entire thing is covered in frosting. Mm -mm. We're gonna bite into his butt, ready? Here we go. Pretty damn good. Whether or not it's supposed to be like this, it's definitely a biscuit texture, which I don't hate. I'm pretty sure if I was on British Bake Off, they would scold me for it being very underbaked. Let's cut him with a knife. It's so weird. That is dense. <laughs> okay. That's it. <laughs> this was so much fun and also so much stress and chaos and I apologize for that. I swear to all the baking gods in the world, I don't do it on purpose. I just, I don't know what it is. Baking in general just makes me just so frantic. Filming it as well makes it 10 times more frantic for me because I'm trying to fit everything in and not waste footage. The results, much like cool wind and hot wind, creates a tornado and that is me. Very unlike Christine McConnell, who is a composed goddess. Obviously, highly recommend that you go watch her tutorial. Like I said, it is on her Patreon. So if you do want to see it, definitely think about subscribing to that. I do, and I have never regretted it for a single second. I think overall it went pretty good. Besides sort of missing the mark with the cookie aspect of it, it's definitely a frosted biscuit. Obviously, my spider is a bit thick and alien-like and not quite you know, as thin and delicate as hers, but for my first try and the fact that I can count my baking experiences on one hand, I think it's not too bad. I hope you enjoyed this chaotic journey. Once again, thank you so much to ThreadUp for sponsoring this video. If you do want to check them out, head to the link in my description and you can thrift my little holiday autumn shop and save 30% off of your first order using Rachel30. And I will see you next week for my next and final Halloween-y video. I'm very excited. I love you all, whether you're new or old to this channel. If you're new here and you feel like sticking around, feel free to subscribe. I upload most Fridays and we have fun here. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye. I honestly, uh, <laughs> Uh, here comes the sun, I say. Um, go away because you're too bright. What? What? And now the sun went away. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. I love it. Oh my god, this is absolute chaos. Uh, what? <sighs> Hello? Wants to get into baking, but also hates the entire process of baking. I know how to back girl. Once again, thank you so much, ThreadUp, 